Hey guys, and welcome back to the Horror Room. So, I was doing research on the last voyage of the Demeter, and I didn't think I knew any of the cast, but I was looking through the cast, and actually, I don't know what Viggo Mortensen does, but he's an awesome actor. Um, also, Nome Rapace is in it, or she, and Jude Law. Now, they may just be... Nome Rapace is also a good actress, she was in the new Aliens movies, and Jude Law, everybody knows who Jude Law is, uh, but I don't think they're actually in the movie, I haven't clicked them yet, we'll find out, because they don't have a uh, name, so they may be producers, they may be executive producers or something to do with the movie, obviously they have something to do with the movie, we haven't figured it out yet, but it's cool to see no may Pace on there, because I really like her. Um, so that's really cool. And Viggo Morgensen is, is a great actor. And I forget uh, the last thing. Obviously, uh, he was in Lord of the Rings, but he's really good. But that's not what caught my attention. What caught my attention, since I'm a horror guy and I love Slender Man, is Javier Baudet. And, and he played Slender Man in 2018, and he was the best part of Slender Man. Uh, the couple of the girls did good acting in that movie, and overall I liked it. But what killed 2018 Slender Man for me was the CG. And if you look at my videos I did on it, my big complaint was they used too much CG and not enough Javier Baudet, which has played all kinds of creatures. It's kind of what he does because he's uh, lanky and tall. He's, he's got, he's like, he may even have some type of um, bone growth thing, but, but he's like, you know, scoliosis, but not. Like, he's extremely lanky, and he plays uh, Count Dracula, which is awesome. He will do excellent. Uh, he's been xenomorphs. He, he's, he, he's a great, the, he's the best creature actor, in my opinion, out there, and he's going to be utilized, hopefully, a lot more so in this than Slender Man, because when he was on screen, you could tell it was a tangible person, tangible being in Slenderman, Javier Baudet knocked it out of the park. Let's click on him here. Yeah. Let's see. He's a Spanish actor, cast in roles, portrayed in, yeah, franchise tall. Yeah, age 45. He, he, he is awesome at doing uh, creature features. And so I'm, I'm very excited now to see him as Dracula in this. He knows how to move his body, how to articulate. He's been doing it for a long time. So that is cool that Bedette is in this. Now let's click on Vigo here. I didn't really say what he's doing in it, which makes me sad. So he must not be, I have to do some more research, he must not be... Uh, he's attached to the project, but I don't know why. Just like Jude Law and Nomi Rapace, which Nomi Rapace is a really good actress. I loved her in the new Alien movies. Or Alien. I'm not going to spoil it. But she's in... That's the latest thing she's in. But she's also in a couple uh, Netflix movies. And she does action and horror. And she's really good. But it doesn't... Let's see. Oh, well, yeah, she did, uh, that's actually where I originally knew her from, was Elizabeth and Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, which was, uh, a book, a Swedish book that was turned into Swedish films, which she portrayed, uh, which she portrayed Elizabeth Slender, which is the lead character, which got turned into uh, Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, the first one with, uh, Daniel Craig, um, uh, Oh man, I forget. Uh, I forget uh, Daniel Craig's co-star, but she did a good job, really good job too. And so did uh, Eliz uh, So did uh, No May Repace. Uh, both movies. It's a trilogy, and then, but I tell you, the second American version of Girl with a Dragon Tattoo was atrocious. It wasn't hard R, which it needs to be for those books if you know the source material. And Daniel Craig refused to do it because they didn't offer him enough money to do it, at least in his opinion. So it was atrocious. So, uh, because the Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, the first one, the American, the English version, what have you, is one of my top five films ever. Um, and the, uh, 
Swedish all three trilogy is definitely worth definitely worth a watch. And Nomi Rapace does awesome as playing the girl with the dragon tattoo. But I don't know what she uh, she's doing in this movie. She doesn't have a character name, character name, so she must not be acting. She must be a donor or something. I don't don't know why uh, it's and why and Jude Law obviously there is also attached to it. So this gives me a lot of hope for this movie, especially with uh, Javier Bardet being. Count Dracula, oh man, the way he can articulate his body, and big names like Viggo Mortensen, no may Pace, who knows her horror, uh, she's one of my stand-up horror girls, she does, well, ladies now, she does all kinds of crazy, obscure, obtuse movies, uh, you need to check out some of her work on uh, Netflix and some of her other things, and if you haven't seen the Aliens movies, the lead up to the first Alien, you need to check it out, and everybody knows you, Law, and I, I'm... I'm not a big Jude Law fan, but if you are, there you go. <clears throat> but he doesn't have a character name either, so he's attached in some way that's not acting as well, I presume. <clears throat> Let's see about the overview what it says. Yeah, we already know, you know, it's the... To reiterate from my first video on it, it's the chapter where the last voyage of Detmer, Demeter, goes to England... From Romania, and I'm not going to spoil it, but you can kind of guess what happens. But I really need to do some research and see why Nome Rapace and Jude Law are attached to it. That's really cool. Let's see who else is on here. Anyone that we know. Anyone else that we know. Now, I don't know, and I did look up some of these actors before and actresses, and some of them were in Games of Thrones and did some other really hardcore Netflix things. So, we've got some quality characters, or actor and actresses, actors they're all called, but they haven't been any huge things. And I just like a listen, and she was in, I forget what it was, she was in a series, yeah, Nightingale, okay. So, she should be very well. Uh, recommended for this role and a lot of the others were the same way they've done tv series and they've done netflix series and they've never had a huge huge movie i guess if you want to call this a huge movie i don't know what the budget is but for them it probably is which is cool so we've got a lot of good talent in front of the camera as behind it it seems and i really want to know what number no pace is doing with this film but I'll have to like, uh, I'll have to do some more research and bring it to you guys. So that's cool. So this gives me a lot of help, a lot of help, a lot of hope that uh, it's going to be even better than I thought. I'm excited it was a Dracula movie. I'm excited that it was based off the chapter of the original Bram Stoker's Dracula. And also, it's cool to know that Javier Baudet is playing Dracula. So it's also all good news along with. Well, no mirror pace being attached to it in some way, some form, some shape, somehow, along with Jude Law, Jude Law, and Vigo Morganson. What do you, uh, Vigo? What are you doing, man? What are you doing attached to this horror film? That's pretty cool. Uh, so, it's always good to have a movie based off a book that usually goes pretty well, or it's usually no middle ground. It's usually really good or really bad. Hopefully, it'll be really good. Um. And they've got some Irish actors in there too as well. Corey Hawkins, who uh, he was on uh, the biggest thing he played. Uh, oh man, he's just in a movie. I can't. I didn't see it, but he was just in uh, a movie about that rapper, and I can't remember his name because uh, I'm not in the rap. But I remember he and he got a lot of accolades for doing that. So that's really good, and seeing him branch out in other things. So yeah, it should be an awesome movie. I'm excited about this cast. Hope you're excited to see a new horror movie that looks to be well-constructed, well-articulated, and really has really, really good source material. So, comment down below and let me know what you think. What do you think about the cast? Are you excited to see this chapter of this book brought to life? And as always, guys, stay creepy. Oh, by the way, 500 subscribers strong still. That's awesome. Thank you guys so much. Uh, yeah, I really appreciate it.
Later.